Okay, effective interest rate and how to do that on your calculator. Now, this is a question taken from the 2018 exam again, and you can see we've got a range of loans with a range of interest rates. Let me just highlight that. So we've got uh, some different interest rates here, but we also have different compounding periods. And we're going to make see uh, which one of these will give us the least amount of money when he's uh, fully repaid uh, the loan. Um, now, a bit of red herring, you don't care about what the money is. That is irrelevant because it, it doesn't matter what you borrow. We're just looking at basically uh, how to compare interest rates. You could do this another way on the financial solver, but there's a much quicker way uh, using the effective interest calculator. Now, you might be used to using the financial solver, which is this guy in the financial section, but we're not going to be using that today. Instead, we're actually going to be clicking this guy, interest conversion. Now, some textbooks will teach you how to do this from the main section, but it's much easier if you use the financial solver, uh, financial section and use the interest conversion. And this is quite uh, easy to do. So uh, basically, all, the N is the compounding. OK, and that's the compounding, um, which is uh, this part. And then the APR, I, I still haven't really figured out exactly what that means. Um, but the that is this number here. So that's the uh, annual per rate. I don't know. But that's normally your normal interest uh, rate uh, over here. And then all you have to do is basically uh, press this button here. But we're also going to be a bit smarter about this. And though we got five options, uh, we really only need to compare two of them. So having a look at these interest rates, we can actually see they're divided into two groups. So let's just draw that line here. And so this group uh, is the weekly group and then this group below that line is the quarterly group now if we want the least amount of money we want the lowest interest rate so just looking at the top group you can see that 12.6 percent uh, compounded weekly that's the low in the, that's the lowest of the weekly ones so you don't have to worry about 12.8 or 12.9 obviously you're going to pay more with those ones um, for a loan you want to pay the least if it was an investment you want to pay more and then loan four is also very good because of the quarterly ones, that's the lowest number. So we only have to compare actually loan one to, uh, to loan four and job was done. So as we said before, uh, if you look at these uh, things, uh, we're just comparing loan one first and we've got the weekly compounding, which means we put 52 because there's 52 weeks in a year. And we put in the 12.6 as the uh, APR, and it's as simple as that. And then all you have to do is press the F button, effective interest rate. And here's our effective interest rate, 13.411. Uh, you might go to two decimal places. If you're really comparing, you might need to go to three. Who knows? But uh, I think this one will be fine if we just went to the two decimal places. So uh, that first one is just 13.411. 13.41%. Now, this is the thing. It's now per annum. So what we're saying here is the effective interest rate is if we compounded this annually, what would the interest rate be? So this is the equivalent. So this is what they talk about in uh, banks with the comparison rate. So they're always talking about comparison rates when you actually look at your home loan. Um, they often say that the 12.6 per annum compounded weekly is the same as 13.41% uh, per annum comparison rate, which is uh, just the same as if you put in here a 1 instead of a 52, you'd actually get exactly 12.6 for the effective interest rate. We're just trying to convert all the interest rates into this per annum compounded once, um, and then we'll be able to compare the rates. All right, let's look at loan four now. And so it says quarterly. So we put a four because there's four quarters in a year and 12.7 is our per annum rate. Click the F button and we get this number, which is 13.32% uh, per annum comparison rate, as they say in the business. So this is uh, loan uh, four. Uh, that's Roman numeral four, and this is loan one I and uh, IV. Um, 
if you look at those ones, which one gives me the lowest number? If I'm just comparing this number now to this number now, we can flat out compare them and we can definitely see that loan four is the better loan. Okay, so we pointed out it's fairly obvious if you have 12.6 weekly compared to 12.9 weekly, that obviously 12.6 is lower, good for a home loan, 12.9 is higher, good for an investment. But what I wanted to talk about is what if you had the same interest rate? So we've got 12.6 here and we just changed the compounding periods. So we've got four because it's quarterly, 12 because it's monthly, 26 because it's fortnightly and 52 because it's weekly. You can see that uh, by increasing the number of compoundings, you actually increase the effective interest rate. And but the advantage gets smaller and smaller as you go. So uh, even if you did daily 365 uh, you would only get a very small increase it'd still be the highest one but it won't be that much more than weekly so you can always say with these things that uh, this is the low end here and this is the high end here so the more often you compound the higher the effective interest rate rate will be for the same uh, APR uh, whatever that stands for uh, answers on a postcard thank you